No one knows what it's like to be the bad man. No one knows what it's like to be hated. But my dreams, they are as empty. Hey guys, DB Black here, and I'm watching Strana try to complete this HT-15 mission in hopes of getting the object 260. I have Pompous and Strana on with me. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. Good evening. And I have a new feature in the bottom right-hand corner. It's called DB Cam. So, enjoy DB Cam, guys, in the bottom right-hand corner. Fancy camera tracking effects. So what do we have here? We've got it. We've we've got a mouse. This thing looks huge. It's pretty much. Three. Pretty much the mouse is a rolling pillbox. It's, I mean, the most effective, most useful aspects of the tank are its armor. I mean, I personally am not necessarily a fan, but. We happen to have quite the fan in the channel, and in the replay even, Strana. What are your thoughts on the mouse, friendo? Uh, I tell- I will tell you the same thing I tell everyone. It's not actually that good of a tank, but it's a fun tank. It's an insane vehicle, far and away the heaviest in the game. Uh, if you took the second heaviest vehicle, that E100 I just shot, put it next to the mouse, and then cut another E100 in half, you would have the weight of the mouse in that one and a half vehicles. Yeah, so that's kind of ridiculous. The sheer, the sheer excessiveness is attractive, even if it's not necessarily the most effective. Alright, well, right off the bat here, we're into a uh, pretty important thing that the novice German heavy tank players, super heavy players, often get wrong. Uh, they will angle their tank properly, like you're doing, and then completely forget about their turret and leave their turret straight on. So, can you kind of explain, like, how you choose how far to angle the tank, how much of it is what you're fighting against, how much of it is your knowledge of the mouse, stuff like that? Um, well, I once actually made a special skin for the mouse that had angle marks on the turret roof, and I would point them, or point those marks at the tank to get the best mix of frontal and side armor, but after 400-something matches, I just sort of go by feel. But gotcha. you want to maximize the horizontal angle of both the side and the front. It's still tech it's still possible to punch through with high penetration rounds, but it's uncommon. And it's not like I can really dodge, so this is my best hope. Yeah, I mean, when you are in pretty much any tier 10, you come around a corner into a mouse, taking up this kind of angle, uh, there's not much chance of you really doing anything unless you enjoy throwing your credits away. Yeah, if you work hard, you can kill it, but it's often just a wiser idea to go elsewhere, and much to my benefit, they choose not to do so. Yeah. This is, like, pretty much optimal for HT15. You have a really stalled kind of game state where everyone's sort of content to sit around and try and shoot tanks and not so much trying to, like, do any big major pushes. Uh, everyone's kind of holding. So, you know, games like this are pretty good for HT15. I mean, it's, you know, we've been in this game for not even five minutes. You've already racked up 3,000 damage plus whatever you've gotten in bounces. Indeed. The mouse doesn't have great DPM, but it has fairly good damage per shot, so if they give me time to reload, I can do quite well. Yep, here we see the 57 pulling out, but, like, again, you have this angle, it's not even really that scary. Oh boy. Big push coming, oh, yes. though. I actually like what's about to happen here. You get to see the full weight of the mouse put into play. Oh boy. He's doing a smart thing, he's trying to flank me, but... Unfortunately for him, pancaking has occurred. Yes. 
I mean, he weighs what? 60, 70 tons. He's a featherweight. Yeah. He, he shouldn't have touched me. Yeah, that's fair. I really got a kick out of that one, Strana. I mean, at this point, you've kind of blunted the initial offensive. We've got the E100 rolling up to try his luck too. Gets a gets a nice pen there on your turret, which is unfortunate, but I mean... Strana, do you have any idea that you're even close to HD 15 here? Um, I do have a damage tracker, thanks to missions I had to install one. Uh, so I, I'm getting a feeling that it might be happening now because I've seen how many bounces I've been getting. So and the hope is rising. Yeah, I, I, I talked to you about two weeks ago, I'm like, I want to see Astrana HC15, and this, obviously, we're doing this now, so this oh, yes, has I, happened. I was playing ex mouse extensively just to do this. Probably worth mentioning at this point, uh, since I forgot to mention it earlier, because I'm such an incredible video host or whatever role I'm playing here. HT-15 uh, for the Object 260 is the final heavy tank mission. It requires you to combine damage done, damage bounced, and damage taken for 14,000. Which is uh, quite a bit of doing. Indeed. 14,000 damage, 14,000 blocked, 14,000 total hit points, so yeah. He's, he's definitely close. He's got 7,000 now. We've got yeah. 7,000 done, plus the 2.4k taken. So, we're already up to... 14,000? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, how it's do you, pretty How do you insane. do that in any tank but the mouse? I've done it in the E100 now and then, but I have not played the E100 nearly as often as I do the mouse, so... The thing that makes the mouse kind of awkward for HT15, in my opinion anyway, as someone who doesn't own one, admittedly, so you're, is, you're... uh... Oh, oh no! No. Yeah, I got a little Seal overly fate aggro. took you out. I had 8,000 damage at that point, and I thought, there's no way I haven't met the requirements, so we're just gonna go through the... So, unfortunately... I found, or I remembered after I died, that for honors, which I'm trying to go for, you need to win the match. And I am no longer in the match to help this. So, had you actually watched the replay further, you would see me trying to, uh, gently coach the randoms. And say, Strana, I, I definitely, I show that, um, or I recorded that part where you're like, and then they, they fought that T95 in the end, and it was like, oh yes. Dude, I was, I was watching. I'm like, did that E5 didn't do what he did, dude? Holy oh shit! Yeah. You would, we, they wouldn't have won, dude. Because that, e, that, no. that T95 had a great position on that fucking mountain, he did. dude. And he made so many mistakes. He did. Oh yeah, it was. God. I mean, it was almost his match to lose at that point. But yeah. They, the random players, they did well. Uh, I didn't. I didn't say much, but I did just say, look, uh, for HD15, you guys need to win. So no pressure but I didn't rant or rave or anything like that, even though I was sitting in my chair thinking, well, I don't really want to have to do this again. So I hope All right, well, well, Strana, now that you've completed HD15, where, what, where do you go from here? I, I have 12 missions left for the Object 260. Probably the one I'm going to work on the most is the uh, MT-15 which is unfortunately another fairly RNG kind of mission. Not in that you need some weird thing in game to happen, but you need four enemy tank destroyers on the other team. Because you have, you have to kill four tank destroyers, win, survive, and deal 3,000 damage. Well, guys, so finding thanks. matches where there's enough TDs is troublesome now and then. Guys, thanks for watching, and we look forward to uh, Strana getting his 260. Uh, Pomp, do you have any last words? I still don't like the mouse, but it oh. is kind of scary when driven by a player that knows how to use it. I have a love-hate relationship with it, so... You're not alone. <laughs>